Hello, and welcome back to episode 4 of Rule the Waves 2 German Sluggers. Last time we left off, uh, we had concluded our rather unexciting war with Italy, taken the island of Rhodes and their Libyan possession, as well as Italian East Africa. And we'd gone about designing a few ships, our two design studies, and the Columbia class Corvette. Apologize if I'm speaking a little lower. I'll boast, boost it in post production. I'm still a little under the weather and trying to recover from that. As things stand now, August 1906. We're looking at a war with Russia as being the most likely, and we're encouraging that. And uh, without further ado, I think we'll get this rolling up. Oh, or forget, I want to improve bases where it's below 100. I want to be able to get significant fleets out here. For that, you need a decent base. That's right, Northern Marianas, I haven't been improving at all. Bismarck Archipelago should, yep, already be good. And then the Marshalls. And since it takes the same amount of time, I'm going to build some docks as well. Won't hurt. We can definitely uh, build more expensive ships and have that extra tonnage to work with and get what we want out of our designs. We'll take a quick look at research, see where we're at. Remember, I have a lot of things on high. I think I'm going to switch ship design down to medium. I do want to get decent turrets. Our control stays up, subdivision stays up, AP stays up. Might keep the hull construction high and the armor high. Scenery. Yeah, we'll keep it high. Don't mind doing low on light forces. Do want to keep torpedoes going so we don't fall too far behind not planning on making a big use of submarines keep these on medium and we do want to get some better naval guns we need better quality and larger improved armor rate of fire I am already happy with that design Get a bunch of Corvettes. Two sets of 12. Give us 24 to start with. Spread those out. Better 11 inch guns. I sense a rebuild in the near future. How are our nines? Hmm, that's unfortunate. I know a lot of our ships are using, well, just the one class actually. I'll open these for redesign first. Oh, and the astute of you. Hopefully, this doesn't break anything, but you'll have noticed. We are now up to version 1.0. The game has released. You can go buy it at the uh, the Naval Warfare Simulations website. Link is down below. They have a new store. Okay. Want better 11-inch guns? How much is that going to cost us? Two million. That's not bad. If that's all we're doing, that's downsizing. 
Oh, that's a major refit. Never mind. Just by doing that, I've reset the whole thing. All we want is better guns. We are already using the best fire control we have. Two million. Everything's all right. Save it. And rebuild them. All six, same time. Eight months. We're going to be at war by then. So these ships will have to make do until then. I'm not going to refit all of our capital ships. That is foolishness. France Stone Tech. Hmm. I think. Wow, that really didn't do much. Thinking. Of. Not doing it. Focusing solely on Russia. We'll move this guy back up to Northern Europe. I forgot I'd put him on foreign stations because we were moving stuff around. I forgot all about it. Okay. I have our two competing designs. I'm going to take a fresh set of. I'm going to take a fresh look at them, see what I think, rename one of them. The B model, which I believe has smaller secondaries. The A model doesn't. Five million difference. Maintenance cost is 20,000 a month. It isn't too significant. We have cross deck firing. And then we have still. It's using those high quality 8 inch guns, 6 per side. Whereas with our cross deck firing, if we're full broadside, it's 10. But typically you're going to see uh, 8 barrels. As with the cross deck having that really narrow arc. And with the advantages of angling your armor in the game, uh, it's it's typically going to be eight. Whereas for eight-inch secondaries, we're looking at six on a side. We don't have a director for secondaries, so their accuracy is going to be poor. Or we can bump up the tertiaries into secondaries just have 5 inches, we have more rounds per gun, and we still have the 8 to 10 per side. And she's cheaper, coincidentally. I think I am going to go with the B model. I mean, having high quality 8 inch guns is nice, but the accuracy is going to be, for, be poor, and how useful is that really going to be? Any other stats to change? Oh, and we got more armor. Oh, yeah. This makes it easy now. All right, let's su suggest a name. Mackinson. We'll resave it. Wait, what? I'm just renaming the class. Rename it. Well, that's okay. I may start changing our class names to be things like this so we know more at a glance what they were and when they came out. I mean, I know it has. We have, uh, the indication of when they came out here, but having this sort of class name gives us this is when it was designed and kind of what kind of competition it was in. I mean, the A and the B, they don't really account for much. We already know it's a BC because over there, 
but I may make those more plain text and just keep those design names. Might be more interesting. <laughs> nope, still running into a couple of bugs. I still don't know what that bug is doing, but the game seems to be functioning normally. Oh man, tensions are creeping up. More accuracy. And there we go, we're at war. Seems a little bit low for war, but alright. Unfortunate that we're not going to be able to go to war with our battle cruiser line. Uh, it looks like we brought out the whole kit and caboodle for this. Oh, maybe not the whole thing. Being five battleships. We have our cruiser screen. And these cruisers. Oh, they're stacked on top. Well, let's take stock. These should be in four behind the lead battleships. These ones are our scouts, which I don't mind keeping them that. These should be our escorts. Our escorts, support, as we don't have destroyer screens yet. So this is our support for the lead division. And this is our support for the um, follow-up division. And we have these cruisers, which are a core, which they can't be a core division to the lead division, because they already have the battleships as a core. When you set them into core, they line up behind. Those two are both to be directly behind a division. The game recognizes that and automatically kicks it out. But somehow it got attached. So I can ask them to screen instead, since the armored cruisers can do that. Or I can kick them back and set them to keep them on core division and put them behind the rest of the battle division. I like the idea of screening. It means we have the destroyers in support ready to dive in and launch their torpedoes. Correction, their torpedo. And it means these cruisers will get in between any destroyers and the battleships. Which is a good thing. And this is another set of destroyers that are set to support those cruisers yeah I think I'll go with that for now we'll see how it works out roll time move ahead bring up the speed since we have no control at this point and we missed each other as it unlocked our controls but I'm going to continue on There is some fog, no contact between the fleets. That's unfortunate. That would have been a fun battle. No, that's not what I wanted. If we angled up slightly, we would have hit him. Oh well, nothing for it. We missed each other, that happens. And now we're at war. And with a positive balance. At least high enough, I'm going to set their intel effort towards none. To help squeeze them down, I don't really want a second combatant in this, in this war. They may get chewed up over here. But I don't see... Oh yeah. Russia is third, and 
yellow, red. I think that means they have a lot more. But yeah, their entire fleet's there. Yeah, we need our brown cruisers out because we're blockaded. Okay, Russia is red. Right, it matches the tension level. It was stacking and that was confusing me. Oh, nope, we don't want that. Our trade production. Let's grab five of these. Let's do six. Now nah, let's do eight. We'll put leave them on active fleet. We have enough to do trade protection. To meet the minimum requirements, I like to do more than minimum requirements, but I'd like to have some destroyers to help screen and be light forces. Yeah. Okay, it's just 10 subs, nothing more, and it's netting us something. I'm tempted to put them on fleet support. Convoy defense, large. Could be the battle that we wanted, depending on how many ships are involved. So yeah, we have the five battleships. In the core, we've got that cruiser division as the double core again. It, this might be identical with just fewer cruiser or destroyers. Set them to screen. They're supporting the cruiser division. That one's supporting the other cruiser division. Bring them back though. I think they should be supporting Battle Division 6. We have their escorts, their escorts, and the cruiser's escorts uh, down here. Already identified. We have already identified the enemy fleet, come up to max speed, and close. Scouts should turn back. Maintaining contact for now, but I think we're going to manually tell them to come back around. To Battle Division 6, screen them. Speed of. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I was thinking of adjusting their formation, but I. It doesn't matter much to, in my experience, whether to have them in a screen formation or a line ahead formation. Screening while in a line ahead formation. Because while they're line ahead screening, if enemy destroyers were to come this way, they just pull out and pull ahead as they approach. They fight them off and then they fall back and get out of the way so that they clear the lines of fire for the battleships. In the screening formation, they'll kind of line up around them, which is useful in low light situations. Like if it's nighttime, it's foggy, it's gonna be point blank range, you kind of want the screen formation to be around your core forces so that nothing can approach too quickly without... What are you guys doing? To 
did everything I modify fall out of AI control and am I not on captain mode I mean admiral mode because I upgraded to uh, 1.0 and I didn't check So technically I can control almost all of these forces. Get everyone back in formation. Oh well. I'll slow them down as they come around to come into contact again. And yeah, everyone's turning around now. Normally play on Admiral's mode, I feel it's more realistic, more interesting, and uh, makes it so you can't cheese the AI as much. Alright. Since I haven't done that, I have to take a look at all of these, make sure everything's where I want it. How I normally play. Air combat, low plane launch, open fire message, on identification. Pause on hit. Sound and video. And oh yeah, I forgot about the background sound. Open fire. It's it's an explosion. This is my preference. Get everything on there. All right, now we're talking. Let's come around. I'm going to be coming into contact with them. Unless they turn away. Barely in contact. I want to let the following battleships catch up. Before I bring the division to full speed, but if we start taking too many hits from the Russian battleships, I want to come up to full speed. 4 12 inch, 16 6 inch, 9 inch belt. Not uh, too, too terribly different. Wow, they've got AA guns and stuff. Twelve inch, sixteen five inch, and turrets. They'll have the speed advantage by a knot. Getting some more hits in on these. Heavy cruisers. Let's see, out of the east, southeast. Oh, right. I keep forgetting that we have the wind gauge up there. If we do duck over here, which I'm tempted to do for the angling benefit for any hits, they are using 12 inch guns. We are really getting that. Our licks in on them. Come up to 16 knots since we're looking 17. They'll close formation a little bit slower, but we're we're now being engaged by the entire battle line. 
I want the angle a little bit better. All right, seven inch. Hessen belt extended, penetrated. Little bit of flooding. We're starting to return fire to their battle line. The gun data look like. So we have pretty good immunity as long as we don't get closer than five thousand yards. 8700 here. Still blinking away at this poor guy. I know I wanted the angle, but I, I don't want to close anymore and I don't want to put the wind gauge to their advantage. I'm pretty confident a lot of their shells will bounce on the primary belt but they'll be able to get hits into this well the secondaries too the um, belt extended okay a lot of the Hessen took a hit bounced off the turret it's 5,000 yards Well, let's try to maintain range at about double our torpedo range. Why did you guys turn away? Was there? Well, that's going to change things. Come back around. Essen took a secondary hit. See how's she taking those hits? Yeah, she won't be able to take that for too too long. But it looks like she'll be able to take a bit of a pounding before she leaves. I had to take the, the brunt. Looks like a couple of them are aiming for the Weissenberg. S and limits. Flooding. Peter Peter Veliki. Taking heavy fire. Secondary fire. Old pass throw hit on the Weisberg. All right, getting some fire in. The little guys moving in. Fortunately, I think our screening vessels are a little bit too far behind us. I'm gonna peel away. May have been what they were looking for. See the secondaries are firing on the destroyer. Or tertiaries, maybe. And any guns that are unable to fire on the main line should switch over to the Rosia. Like um, the secondaries. Target. Starbird is still the destroyer with low chance of success. Not surprising. Wow, they really want to close in. That could be why. Well, I'm. They want to close. We. I've got the line together. Heavy cruisers aren't really doing what they're supposed to be. Let's stop them screening. That isn't really work now. Independent. Battle Division 6. This is Cruiser Division 4. Or Cruiser Division 6. Four, four. This is 
Go to Division 8. Pay you for an independent day. Night. 4. Get everyone to line up. And they'll be able to add their fire in. Light hit. Turn away slightly. The engine room hit. Well, it was a medium gun, which there's our 6 inch. Getting some good hits in. We took a hull hit, heavy gun, did not penetrate. And again, and ours are going to be doing similar to them. Oh, they really want to get in. Okay, Let's see if the, we can get the destroyers involved. I'm going to get it, a, try to get us an angle. See if we can't launch on them from the submerged tubes. Couple penetrating hits to the Zaringan, which is back here. Pretty far back in the line. I think we're still making out on this. Better than they are. At least by number of hits. Definitely trading gunfire now though. Alright, with them peeling away like that, I'm concerned she just launched torpedoes, so I'm gonna do an evasive action. Get on a course and let her peel away. Oh, and darkness has fallen. With the twilight, gunners seem to have lost their ranges. What are you guys doing? Okay, the Scharnhorst and the, the Nice now are starting to get into formation. At this kind of range, I do not want to reduce speed. So if our formation gets split up a little, that's just something we're going to have to live with. I'm to starboard. Superstructure hit. Return fire with our heavies. Orange. Oh, the Weissenberg's going to fall behind now. Uh, the full message is splinters perforate the uptakes, which reduces speed. We take a look. Oh, not as much as I thought they might, but that may be because they're they're so slow to begin with. Another heavy hit. Weissenberg taking more hits, including a penetrating hit. We got a heavy one in an exchange. Two into the Imperator Peter, the Veliki class. Seringan took a hit, no penetration. Brett Vazan took a, a hit. This is the one with the weaker secondaries. Whittlesbach took a heavy hit. Whittlesbach being... Where is she? Ah! Oh, obscured. Oh, well, that's actually not that bad. Pouring in the fire into the the lead Veliki. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna try to split the Weissenberg off if I can. And I can't. Not significant enough damage. I wanna see how she's doing though. Seven knots. Yeah, she's going to lose formation all on her own. Which, if she permanently detaches, I'll put her at the end of the line. 
and now we're just pouring fire into each other. This is the classic. When you hear tales of glorious battle from the age of the pre-dreadnought, this is what you see lining up across from each other and just pounding the snot out of each other. And <laughs> plenty of penetrating hits too. This is going to be... I see more of them, more of us getting hit than them. I am... The fact that we're getting our heavy guns into them seemingly more frequently than they are us. Pretty confident about this battle. The Imperator class is on fire now. And losing speed. Weissenberg's taking hits though. And the Hessen is now by herself out front. It's going to be hard to pursue. To make sure this Imperator gets... gets picked off, but we will try. Getting more gunfire in. 7 inch. Running low on ammo. Conning tower hit, no effect. And it was medium gun, so that's kind of what you expect. Alright, we're getting a little bit more gunfire into her. Weissenberg takes another hit. Her. Yeah, that's that's all into her. I think I think it might be time for her to play the Ride of the Valkyries. Oh, and nighttime is falling. Yep, that's what I expected. And we're going to be in torpedo range constantly from now on. That might be a little risky. Well, the U.S. core, but cruiser division 8. So you're damaged. Want to maintain combat, or contact, and close in. With any luck, some of these guys will launch torpedoes. But they're all interfering with each other right now. Nope, that's a destroyer. Nope, heavy cruiser. I'll buy that. I'm aside. It's a good launch angle. It is for her as well, so I don't want to stay at it for too long. Trading fire at point blank range now. A couple thousand yards. Heavy damage, on fire, three knots. She's sinking. Turn away. If somebody gets a, a torpedo into her, that'll be fine. She'll sink that much faster. So we'll leave the flotilla attack on. And we do. Can't keep up with this guy. If they want to disengage, they're going to be able to. And they're going to retreat this way. They were up here. I'm still going to pursue this way. And as they close in, we should see them. As they approach. So maybe around here. Let's get I'd like somebody to start scouting or one's which let's do scout or battle division one or Weissenberg will change to being a core division behind cruiser division 4. I didn't notice the... Oh, where was it? it? Needs to be a cruiser, I guess. Oh, search pattern in there. Let's 
thought for just a moment. I should have looked at it right away. That's all right. I saw search pattern in there. I think I'll have to review the footage. Weissenberg sees an ah, uh, yeah, that's the sinking ship. Get the speed up. Drop in speed a little bit. I want them to be able to recover formation as well as the coal stokers. 50%. That may be it. Both sides exchanging damage and sinking one battleship. Our destroyer is running low on fuel. Not much of a concern. And that's it. Oh, jeez. He survived, though. Unlike theirs. So we win that handily. Leave the scenario. Gain one prestige. I'll take that. So yeah, the Weissenberg's going to be out for a while. Surprisingly, the Hessen is only going to be out for a month. Corvettes come out in four months. We get our battle cruisers back in three. This is a good start. We knock down. They still have the advantage. Probably not enough for a blockade. Uh, I think that might be enough. We didn't get a message that they were blockading us, though. Yeah, I don't see them getting points from a blockade. Oh, something I should check. Oh, Oops. So, we could do an invasion in Port Arthur or Riga. It's the home area, so I'm not that concerned about it. But Port Arthur. And I click on this. That you as an invasion target. Cost will be 2 million. For Arthur and Dolmy. Hmm. Find to send a. And an extra division of Victoria Luis is over to Northeast Asia to help with that. That'll weaken us and make it easier for us to be blockaded, but they don't have ships over here. I want to make sure it stays that way. So put us at six heavy cruisers. But with that, I need to wrap it up. So. We've picked our our ship for the future, the Battlecruiser, Experimental Battlecruiser 1907 Bravo. Um, they'll get normal names. Um, the suggestion initially will be that, but I can I can find a, a name, type it in manually, and everything after that should be normal random generation. We've managed to have a successful battle with Russia. Not heavy losses, but we had the clear advantage. Uh, and we've been at war for two months. And I think that's it. We really didn't get all that much as we were focused on the battle with Russia, which took a little while. Um, with that, please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time. Take care.